Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be going through the bi-weekly contest 100 from lead code. Uh, this by far is the best, uh, like best performance I gave. Uh, currently I have a rank 33 and it's stabilized over here. I don't know why it's showing 70, uh, 64 over here. That doesn't make sense actually. Uh, the reason I couldn't get into top 10 is that I actually did a small mistake in the problem first itself. And because of that, I got a five, uh, like a five minute penalty or five minute penalty. So problem one is fairly simple. I won't be wasting time over here. I'll be going through the problem three. Uh, and the problem four, right? So let's get started with problem three. So the problem three is find score of an array after making all the elements, uh, after marking all the all the elements. So they state that you are given an array nums uh, of positive integers. Uh, starting with the score zero, you apply the follow, uh, apply the algorithm. So you choose an element, you choose the smallest inte integer of the array that is not marked yet. If there is a tie, then you have to choose the element uh, with the smallest index. Then you add the value chosen uh, of the chosen integer to the score. You mark the chosen element and its two adjacent elements if they exist, right? So for example, if you choose one, then its adjacent elements are two and three, right? So you'll also mark them. And you'll keep repeating uh, these things until and unless all the elements are marked. So this is a very, a very, very standard uh, problem or a very easy one. It's just an implementation based problem. I don't even expect lead code to give this in uh, like over here in the third question. But anyway, so since they have given it, let's get started with it. So firstly, I'll be taking a mini heap. Now, since I want uh, the minimum element at every iteration, minheap is of, uh, is of this choice over here. I'll take minheap, I'll push all the elements, but other than the elements, I also need to know the indices, right? And they said that if there's a tie between two elements, we have to select the element with the lower index, right? So that's the reason I'm pushing the num, that is the value and the index i, right? After that, I'll initialize my score to zero, the n to the size, and then I'll also take a, a Boolean variable marked or a Boolean vector that is called marked. Now I'll keep performing this until uh, till the time I have some elements in, uh, left in my priority queue. What I'm doing is that I'm taking the first element out of the priority queue. I'm taking its index and its value. Uh, then I'm popping it. Cool. After uh, noticing the value, I'm popping it. Then I'm checking if it's already marked. Then I need to continue, right? Because if it's already marked, I uh, shouldn't be adding it uh, again to my score, right? Uh, if it's not marked, then I'll mark this particular element. I'll mark the element to its right, uh, to its left if it exists. I'll mark the element to its right if it exists and then I'll add this particular element to my score and then I'll return it. So I don't know why they asked such a problem. It's a pretty standard easy one. So let's move to the problem four. Uh, this is also not a tough problem. This is just a uh, medium level problem or and a very uh, basic uh, simple binary search problem. So the problem is that minimum time to repair cars. So the problem states that you are given a an integer array ranks representing the ranks of some mechanics ranks i is the rank of the ith mechanic so basically they have given you a vector ranks and over here each of this uh, in uh, each of these elements actually represent the rank of the ith mechanic so this is the rank of the mechanic 0 mechanic 1 mechanic 2 and mechanic 3 right considering zero based indexing so they state that a mechanic with a rank r can repair n cars in r into n square minutes right cool enough then they say you are given an integer cars representing the total number of cars waiting in the garage to be repaired. Return the minimum time taken uh, to repair all the cars. Now this is a very standard minimization question, right? So as soon as you hear about this question, uh, binary search could, uh, should automatically you know pop up in your head that this can easily be solved by uh, like binary search. The rest is fairly simple. So you'll stay, uh, you'll take uh, three variables. That's the standard, or this is the boilerplate. Okay, boilerplate code for binary search. Anyway, so I hope that if you are coding for some while, you already have a, bi a boilerplate code written. Although I wrote it in the contest itself because the code also is fairly simple, but you should already have this kind of a code or a template in your head. So you will take a, lo a low and a high, then you'll take the mid, right? That is basically low plus high uh, divided by two. Or some people take it like a low plus difference divided by two. You can take whatever you want. Then you check uh, if it's possible for you to reach to the answer using mid mid minutes, right? So you'll be checking that. Now, how, how we'll be checking, I'll discuss that later. So if, if that's possible, then you'll say that, okay, this amount is possible. So let's set our result to this, right? And let's set our high value. So uh, I already know it, it is possible in mid minutes, right? So I want to check if it's possible in even, even a lower time, right? So I'll set result to mid and I'll set my high to mid minus one, right? After that, I'll, uh, if it's not possible, then I want to check a bigger value. So I'll set my low to mid plus one, right? Uh, after that, what I'll do is in my okay function or in my possible function, whatever you want uh, may want to call it, I'll define a variable done. So done basically defines that how many 
cards i can process in this uh, in this time right so this is the time i have i'm calling it mid over here you can call it time if you want right it doesn't change anything okay let's call it time okay so uh, how many uh, cards can the ith mechanic process who's having a rank r so a mechanic with rank r can process r into n square cards right that's written over here so basically in mid time he'll be able to uh, process mid divide by r and will take a square root of that right so that's a basic stuff you can if you can uh, process r cards in uh, n uh, n time right so yeah over here they have said that uh, he can repair sorry n cards in r into n square minutes right okay r card so in mid time how many cards can you process so that be, uh, basically uh, what we'll do is that uh, we'll take r from here we'll take it to the denominator so that becomes mid divided by r and since we have to now take n uh, rather than n square so we'll be taking the square root on both sides so that becomes square root of mid divided by r right and then we'll check if the number of cards we have processed so done basically over here means number of cards processed so if a number of cards processed is greater than the total cards right or the total number of cards that have to be processed or equal to the total number of cards that you had to process in that case you'll just return it uh yeah that's it so this was uh, not a tough question uh i don't know why uh, why they didn't ask a single uh, hard question in this contest but i hope you enjoyed the video and you understood the concept as well cool guys thanks a lot for watching this bye bye